Welcome to day three of the three day no alcohol challenge. Alcohol free is fun. Look at me, don't I look fun? <laughs> I'm telling you, I've got so much more energy and clarity and focus and I love life, I sleep well, I wake up, I'm happy. Doesn't mean that I'm like skipping down the street singing zippity doo dah, zippity day every single day of my life. Of course I have struggles like everyone does. But for the most part, probably 85% of my life is like, yeah, I feel good. I'm clear headed, I'm having fun, I've got good relationships, I'm exercising, I'm eating well, and I just feel the way that nature always intended me to feel. If you're feeling crappy from your drinking, nature didn't intend you to feel that way. You're actually choosing to put a poison down your throat, which is keeping you tired and lethargic and sapping your clarity and your focus and affecting your relationships. But when you live this lifestyle, because it's a lifestyle, it's fun. Like it's really fun. And what happens is, or at least what happened to me, when I quit in 2010, I thought I was only gonna quit for 30 days. In fact, in 2010, I woke up in Austin, Texas. I was in a, um, staying in a hotel. I was in town for a, for a festival. And I only had two drinks the night before. They were Bombay Sapphire gin and tonics. Didn't get drunk, nothing crazy. But I woke up in this hotel in Austin and I looked in the mirror and I was like, wow, you've put on like 35 pounds, you're tired, you're weathered. I was just kind of like, blah. I wasn't rock bottom, I was just like, blah. So I said to myself, you know what? I'm just gonna quit for 30 days just to see what it feels like. And I did, I quit for 30 days. I lost 13 pounds, my skin improved, my energy went up, I started sleeping better. I landed my dream job hosting Sports Center on ESPN, some of you may have seen me. And I started attracting these amazing relationships. I started exercising some more. I started focusing on nutrition a lot more. And my just overall feeling of joy and well-being just started to improve. And so I went, you know what, I'm just going to keep going. And then I just kept going and going and going. And a year later, I went to a bar to celebrate one year without drinking. I ordered a Budweiser and I, as I put it to my mouth, I was like, you know what, I've lost 30 pounds over a year. I feel great. Everything's kind of going in the right direction. I think I might just stay on this alcohol-free journey. So I actually gave the Budweiser back and ordered a water ice and a piece of lime instead. And it's been now since 2010, I have not had one drop of alcohol. I wasn't an alcoholic. I didn't do anything crazy. I just was drinking the way society said was okay to drink and I realized that it was holding me back. So what I've been able to cultivate since 2010 is this idea that alcohol freedom is fun. I go out dancing. Uh, I have go out to dinners, I go to weddings where people are toasting the bride and groom with alcohol and I'm toasting with uh, a soda water ice and a piece of lime. And I, not only that, I've attracted other people in my life who also either don't drink or drinking is just not a necessary part of their socializing. It doesn't mean that I'm only hanging out with people who aren't drinking. It just means I'm hanging out with people who don't drink or they're just like having a drink here or there on occasion. It's not like this necessary crutch that they need in their life. And the kind of fun that I have while being alcohol free includes early morning hikes, which I love to do. These are just some of the things that have happened. I get to have deeper conversations, so less surface level um, uh, trivial conversations that I, uh, that I notice kind of happens when there's a lot of alcohol involved. Uh, Fun exercise, so I do like group exercise, really healthy food. Sleep, wow, sleep is amazing. Sleep is just like life. <laughs> if you can sleep really well and you wake up in the morning, your whole mood is affected. Because if you don't sleep well, you're kind of like dragging yourself out of bed, you're irritated, you snap at your husband or your wife, or your kids or your boss or your colleagues or the person who cuts you off in the street. So because I sleep well, I just wake up going, oh yeah, this is good. I feel like I'm supposed to feel. Uh, community is huge. So getting into a great group of supportive friends. It's not that my friends when I was drinking weren't supportive, they just weren't as supportive. We just tended to go out, drink, sleep in, feel crappy, feel irritable. And you know, we were just kind of like, the friendships were like a six, maybe a seven out of 10. But now the community and the friends it feels more like an eight to a nine out of 10 most of the time. I've got support, supportive friends. Um, 
I mentioned dancing before, do dancing, you do travel. I go to like places around the world, across America, back in my home native country in Australia, all alcohol free. I start to like notice the landscapes more. I start to look at the trees and the pretty flowers. I know this is probably sounding a little bit hippie right now, but this is just what happens. It's like you go alcohol free, you get that toxin out of the body and all of these things like dance and travel and friends and community and conversations and hikes and conversations and exercise and healthy food and opportunities start to come in as well. Opportunities are huge. The first big opportunities, opportunity that happened for me was, was auditioning to host the most iconic sports TV show in the world, Sports Center, on ESPN. And because I was clear in mind and I was alcohol free, I went and auditioned, got the job and ended up being on TV for two years, which was like a dream for me. It was amazing. Um, productivity goes through the roof. Let me just put it down here. Productivity. Oh, money. Dollar signs start to come in when you quit drinking. It's not just from saving money, but you also just tend to make more money because opportunities start to arise. You just happen to get a promotion at work. Someone brings a business opportunity to you. It's incredible. You get rid of the alcohol and, out, and then money starts to just flow into your life. It's pretty amazing. So these are all some of the amazing things that can happen to you when you go alcohol free and some reasons why it is fun. And just a warning, you do get better looking when you quit drinking. You should see a photo of me when I was drinking. I was like puffy face and put on some weight. And uh, now that I haven't drunk and I've lost weight and I'm energetic and my skin's nice and well, it just looks the way that it's supposed to look. I think I look a, a lot better. <laughs> so understand that these kind of opportunities and these kind of benefits are going to come with you if you choose this alcohol free life, which is pretty amazing. You've now got to day three, which is incredible. Get through the rest of today, wake up tomorrow morning with a great sense of accomplishment.